This is so funny. It's like a sea of green. And then you have that little guy right there. He's cute. Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. You are looking at my parents' beautiful backyard. They have transformed this thing from a childhood playground to a beautiful, beautiful garden. And um, I'm going to sketch it for you. I grew up in this house. I am actually sitting on my bed in my old room. It looks nothing like my room, so it's not creepy like that, or is it cool like that? I don't know, whichever one it is. It's my old room. It's totally redone, redecorated. It's got all my mom's stuff in it. Um, my kids are sleeping in my brother's room. I mean, you know, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's really cool to come home sometimes and uh, just be here and see how the space is transformed. Um, and to, to have a relationship with my parents now as an adult is really cool too. So, um, but anyway, I wanted to document how amazing their backyard is. I wanted you guys to see it. I post a lot on my Instagram stories about their backyard because I can't get enough of it. And um, they have just outdone themselves. So I thought, why not kind of share it with the whole entire world? <laughs> So you saw that I had sketched it all in with a uh, pencil first. I do that as a crutch. I really need to get away from that. I have not been using an eraser for a long time now, so I really just need to take the pencil out of my sketch kit, but um, it's a comfort zone thing, so I keep it there. Um, but anyway, I did do a live without the pencil, so that was that. that's there. Um, that's practice, um, but anyway. I use the pencil, I do that off camera, and then I end up 
coming back on camera for a ballpoint pen. Um, the ballpoint pen I'm using is a Kara's Customs. It's an aluminum pen, so it's going to be the lightest um, metal pen that you could purchase from them. I use a generic refill. Um, you can find that in my Amazon favorites list, and if you need help finding it, I can always direct you to it. Just leave me a comment in the comments below. Um, I love to use watercolor and ballpoint pen. Um, the ballpoint pen resists the watercolor because it's oil based, so that is really cool. Um, and when I start to add my layers for watercolor, I always think of it in like three different tones. So I first go in and I laid a wash of all the green and then I will go back in with a middle tone of green and kind of like darken up some areas and then my last tone is going to be the darkest and I feel like if I do those three layers it really gives it a good pop and I really like using the like sketchy kind of liney um, shadowing because that just is a guideline of where I want to place my shadows or the darker parts of the plant or object or whatever I'm drawing. So as you saw just there, I was doing um, the first and second layer. So you'll see in a bit that it gets more dramatic or it has more contrast. Here, I'm just walking you through all the little paths and nooks and crannies of my parents' backyard. I did a live at that table. That was my first live on Instagram. And then, yeah, um, enjoy this footage because it is amazing out there. So I feel like this third step, this last layer of watercolor, is where you really start to see the like punch of the colors. It kind of just goes pow, you know what I mean? Like it just pops off the page. Um, so don't forget, don't like not do this step. Think of it always in threes. Even, it doesn't even matter if you're just using colored pencil. Think of it in threes. Think of a light tone, a medium tone, and then your deepest tone. I do fill in the background with some blue and then this page is done. I absolutely love it. I feel like this could be um, like a wallpaper or as you know like a pattern that repeats over and over and over. Washi tape. I don't know. Anyway, um, I really do love this or maybe even picking different flowers off of this to create stickers. Everyone is so excited about stickers these days. so. Um, Anyway, you tell me what I should do. You guys will tell me what I should do, right? You're the ones purchasing my stuff, so feel free to speak up because otherwise you'll never get what you want, right, in life? I don't know. Be, be nice, though, about it, you know? 
Anyway, oh my gosh, I'm just rambling. But I'm getting I'm getting finished with this page and I finish the video with some more footage of my parents' backyard. See, see? I really want to draw that um the uh wood. What is that? Oh no, you guys are probably yelling at me. But I want to draw the wood pile. Haha. -ha. Um I think it would be really cool to draw hard but cool. So you might see one of those pages in my journal. Anyway, I keep chatting with you, but I'm going to let you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, everybody, I'll see ya. Before I go, I did want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Um, don't forget to check me out over on Instagram and Facebook. I have a Facebook page as well. All the information will be listed in the description box below.